Hey everybody, Dr. Jensen with CCJ3701 Research Methods. I feel terrible. I required you to do something that I didn't teach you and that's not fair. So thanks some of your classmates for, for bringing this to my attention. Um, I went back through the videos just to verify and they were correct. I did not teach you how to graph in SPSS, yet I asked you to do it in lab four. So I'm not going to count that against you in your lab or do any deductions because it's unfair of me to expect you to know how to do something that I never showed you. So um, I'm just showing you this video so that way you know how to do it if you want to produce graphs in SPSS. Um, pretty easy to do and some of you kind of figured it out but again I'm not gonna make that an issue for you for your grade because that's just not cool of me to do that. So um, to do graphing in SPSS I'm just in the general social survey data you go to the graphs menu looks kind of self-explanatory and then chart builder okay you get this little dialog box that reminds you make sure you know the level of measurement of your variables the kind of variables they are because it's going to affect the kind of graphs you can do you just click OK and it eventually brings you to this little chart builder window okay uh, you also have these little element property things on the side I'm gonna move myself okay and uh, you can you know ask for different kinds of, of parameters and so forth we're gonna do a really simple graph so I'm gonna move my camera over and uh, for example I wanna do one on marital status okay if I go to gallery that's the first tab at the bottom you can choose from all different styles of graphs okay and uh, we wanna do a histogram Okay, and so I would select histogram and I would drag it into the window for the graph I want to do. Then all I need to do is select my variable that I want to graph and then I drag that onto the x-axis and drop it and it starts to kind of populate it into a preview for you. So uh, once you're done with that, you actually can change the colors. You can hit this um, titles and footnotes tab and ask for a title I selected title and I can say marital status bar chart or whatever I want to call it so there's lots of other little things in here with design and so forth but this is all we need to do for now uh, the default is not to include the missing data so it's actually set up for you you click OK da, 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 and SPSS creates a little graph for you I don't love graphing in SPSS, but to me it's important to show you how to create graphs with variables in here, should you have the desire to do so. If you want to make some pictures of your variables, this is how you would do it. Okay, so that's all you have to do. Uh, you notice there's some syntax up here. I actually make my graphs with syntax. I kind of tell SPSS exactly what de defaults I want, how I want it to look, and so forth, but it's, it's kind of complicated, and other people just prefer using Chart Builder where they can just kind of drag and drop the stuff they want to do. But that's how you graph in SPSS, pretty simple. Um, lots of features and functions. I also kind of prefer using other programs like Excel, which have some more artistic and design friendly elements to them. But uh, other than that, now you know how to graph in SPSS. And uh, I again, will not count that against you because I would lose cool points if I did that. And I can't do that. I can never expect you to master what I've never showed you how to do. That's just not going to work. So other than that, if you have questions, let me know. And uh, feel free to reach out because sometimes these things happen. I think I include something in a video. It turns out I don't. And uh, that way I can correct it for you. So other than that, we'll see you later.